everyone. Today we're going to be talking about the uh, Modbus RTU remote terminal unit, the Brix PLC master to click PLC slave communications. And if we look up on our screen here, what you'll notice is that I have a table that tells exactly what we're going to do. So from the Brix PLC, we're going to write 10 channels um, using Modbus RTU to the click PLC and so we're going to use the write the mod bus to the uh, uh, do more and the do more uh, will write to MHR1 to MHR10 and the click address will be DH1 to DH10 and the mod bus address is uh, 424,577 to 424,586 and I'll explain in a minute how I get those then we're going to read um, from the click and put it back into the Bricks PLC. And again, there are the Modbus addresses there. We have the, we're going to put it into the Bricks MHR 11 to MHR 20. And it's, we're going to uh, read from DH 11 to DH 20. So we're going to uh, read those 10 registers in and we're going to write those 10 um registers okay so and if we look at the um, way we have this wired up um, this is RS 485 which is a two wire connection so we have our two wire connection from our brick or bricks PLC here and it's uh, just over to our port number three on our click which is also set up for our Modbus RTE and then we have a termination resistor and that termination resistor is built into the BRICS um, PLC already and we can control that by software. So looking at the first of all we'll look at our click uh, PLC we're online and we're communicating and if we look at the setup and the port setup we'll actually go down to COM port number three we'll look at the setup of it and you can see here that we are protocol is already Modbus and our node address is number one our baud rate 384 our, we have odd one stop bit eight, eight uh, data bits and there's our wiring diagram for that port so let's hit OK so the only other thing I've done is I've said we have an always on and we copy what's ever in DH1 um, so that first channel into our output uh, uh, bit so we can actually see them come up here on our controller. All right, so that's it for that. Uh, we, we have it in run mode right now so everything's good. Now let's go over to our uh, Bricks PLC or Bricks uh, software and in here what we'll do is we'll look up the uh, setup and we do that under the configure and under the configuration you'll notice that we have here on our serial port configuration our Modbus RTU client now which is our master so this is what's going to control talking out to the click and then under port type we have RS-485 and we've enabled the 120 ohm termination resistance so let's hit the change uh, settings just to verify now that we have um, 384 we have a data bits one stop bit odd parity so which is exactly what we had on our click it's very important to make sure that they're identical in order for us to have communications so we'll say okay and we'll say okay to that now if we actually look at the program you'll notice that we have two instructions one is a uh, read instruction and a write instruction. So here we'll look at our, our write instruction first. I double click it. And what you'll see is, I'll just go into edit mode. And here is our write instruction. So we have a unit ID. We're going to uh, write multiple registers. We're going to um, 
there's a Modbus address 4 plus we do an offset and our offset is 245.77. Number of Modbus registers we're going to have 10 and from the do more address which is MHR1. So basically our range is MHR1 to MHR10 and we're going to write these out to the click PLC. We'll set OK. And then if we look at our read instruction. Now our read instruction, we're going to read holding registers. Again, we have an, a Modbus address of 4 plus an offset. The offset in this case is going to be uh, 24,587. And the number of Modbus, red, Modbus registers is 10. And we're going to store that in data memory or, or Modbus HR area 11. And because there's 10, it's going to from 11 to MHR 20. And then we turn on a couple of bits here, just as we did before. This is in their case here. On the read, it's uh, th uh, 3 and 4, C3 and C4, which set the bit on if it's successful, the, uh, the read, or if it's an error on the read. So we'll just close that off. And we'll just go out of edit mode. So. What you'll see here is we have our read um, success, which comes from our read down here, or our read error causes then our write to fire and go out and write to the uh, network. We also have the first scan. So as soon as the uh, controller goes into program mode, or into run mode, I should say, they, it will automatically trigger this to write to the network. And then we also then go back and then we read. So here's our, after we uh, did a write success or a write error, it will then read our information. So that's how we get our timing. So our timing should be very quick going back and forth. And the only thing else on the program is that I've fired out our regular um, outputs here. So you see that MHR11, um, which is what we're reading from the click. If it turns on bit zero, you'll see Y0 turn on. So that's it for um, what's actually in the Bricks PLC. So here we'll turn this into the run mode. And once we do, you'll see that we're in run now. And our lights here on our transmit and receive are on solid, as well as the ones on our click. So right now we're communicating back and forth. So if we look at our, first of all, we'll look at our Bricks here and we've call up our data view and we're writing um, some channels here so we'll look at the very first channel that we're writing MHR 0 and let's change that and we'll put the value of 1 in here and we'll write that All right. yes and what you'll notice is that our first bit on our click now turns on if you want to turn on the first four we'll put the value F in there and you see the first four. Let's turn on the, first, the next four as well. So you can see that we are communicating from the bricks now over to our click. Now let's make sure that we are communicating the other way. So if we call up our click software, and our click software we have the data view. We'll call that up. And in this case here, you can see where my FF is coming from, from our bricks. Now we will modify our, our uh, DH11 register here. And we'll put the value of 1 in first. We'll write that value. And you can see, sure enough, on our bricks PLC, the first output is now on. Let's turn on the first four. Write those values and they'll see sure enough the first four come on and let's turn on the next four right. and sure enough they are so that's it for today so as you'll see that uh, everything is quite straightforward in terms of communicating from the uh, 
Brooks PLC to the Click PLC using Modbus TCP. And we could actually look at the status and you see the status of the write and the read just going back and forth. So you can see our successes and our outputs. All right. So all the links and documentation can be found on our website at accautomation.ca. And if you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information just as you have. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video. You can also go to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website. When you do, you'll get notification every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.